My love must be a kind of blind love. Hello, all you schoolgirls and schoolgirl lovers, to another episode of Memory Lane Gaming Plain Honey Pop. Ah, uh, I failed. There we go, Honey Pop. And we uh, met Tiffany over here last episode and uh, went on a successful date with her. Not a successful, but successful. Not even successful. Hmm. It was. It was good. We'll go with that. Now we're gonna go to Dawnwood Park. Shit, is it that time already? Ooh. Oops. I was not expecting her to cuss. You naughty, naughty girl. You need spanking. <sighs> good morning, Aiko. Oh, hey, Belly. What's wrong? Seems like something's bothering you. Yeah, life. <laughs> How are classes going? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Mm, well, I think I have just the thing. I'm headed to the beach to work in a few poses. You should join me. Nothing like a little exercise to melt that stress away. Poses? Uh, not today. I'm just not feeling it. Will I at least be seeing you this weekend at the studio? I'll be there. I don't think I have anything else going on for once. Great! Can't wait. See you there. Did I stumble upon lesbians? Dude, bro, Asian chicks? Don't even get me started. I have, like, the worst case of yellow fever ever. Ever. Is that like appropriate? Like a yellow plague. Oh. This is a tough approach. She's kind of in a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what. The stupider, the better. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> that is my specialty. Isn't it funny how life is pointless and nothing matters? Beautiful. Hey! Can you teach me karate? Fuck these birds, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> no! I like the birds. I... I like birds. They're birdie. I'm only kidding. I just thought you were cute and wanted to meet you. Aha, but for real, what's up? You look a little bummed out over here. Nah, I just like to bother people who look like they want to be left alone. Ha ha ha. That's totally me. Well, mission accomplished. Good work. I'm just trying to relax. Enjoy a little downtime between classes. I teach up at UOG. You know the place? It's like the only university in the city for some reason. <laughs> for some reason. A teacher? You must be, like, really smart. Oh, so you've got that sexy teacher angle going, then. Oh yeah, what do you teach? I don't know about that. I have a couple students who might agree with you, though. <laughs> I'm glad you came over here. I needed a good laugh. The kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. Sweet. I'm gonna call you Aiko. Not to be confused with Oikos. Let me ask you something. So honestly, how many chicks are you seeing right now? Why does everybody want to know what farms I visit? Come on. There are a couple of girls I've met that I'm talking to. Baby, I only have eyes for you. You should see all the tail I'm chasing. It's crazy! Ugh, you're such a pig! Hey! I'm kidding! Yes? What did you study in college? Do you prefer one season over the others? What do you do? Like, for work, I mean. I already know this! Why do I have to ask this? I've got a master's degree in mathematics, and I regret it every day. <laughs> nice. Something I can help you with? What is your favorite place to hang out? I've got to know what cup size you rock in. <sighs> Sleeping. No, wait! Gambling! 
Um, do you gamble in your sleep? Or is that like sex for you? Let's see here. What can I get you? Chopsticks. Really? You need gift for a Japanese woman. <sighs> very subtle game, very subtle. Let's totally do it. Get her some food too. Some coconuts. Okay. And they said something about um like leveling up or something. Oh, here we go. What is she into? Sexuality. So she likes red, doesn't like blue. Oops. Okay, so... I don't have enough. Lame Zors. Let's give her some coconuts. Gosh, that hit the spot. Coconuts. Wow. Apparently coconuts turn her on, so maybe I did stumble upon lesbians. How did you get your hands on this? Uh I grabbed it. I guess. Is this a trick question? Um Let's talk about so, one more hey, thing. question. You a political person at all? Most of my views are pretty liberal. Nah, that's all a bunch of noise to me. Suppose I lean to the conservative side. Um In real life, no, not not really at all. You too? They all sound like a bunch of douchebags to me. Huh. Success. Well now. Now I can purchase this. Sexuality tokens matches give you an additional 100% affection. Sweet. Chance of generating a power token. Oh. Penalty for matching broken hearts decreases. Power tokens multiply the affection earned from match. Oh. Well, that's kind of pointless without this one, I guess. Okay. Let's just go with this one. Get the leg up here so we can get the leg up later. And I need to get her more food because she's not going to want to do anything otherwise. Tomatoes. Thanks. I think I'm gonna save some of this for a salad later. I just randomly walk around with tomatoes and I give them to girls and they're like, Hey, thank you. I wanted a salad later. Can't really argue with that. Take me somewhere nice. Like... Um... The tennis courts! I've only played this a couple times, um, so try not to kill me, okay? I don't think that's the most practical tennis outfit. What do you guys think? Not bad! Yeah! Rockin' right out the gate! Hmm... She really likes reds. But I would like to get some sentiment going. Let's see. Let's. No, let's not do that yet. Let's try to save some reds for a little bit longer. Hey, fuck you! Um. Oops. My mistake. She doesn't really like blues, though.
Hmm. Eh. Yeah. Let's, uh... Ooh, damn. Nice. Let's just go ahead and do that, then. Green. I want to match hearts, but there's, like, no hearts, so... What? What just happened? <laughs> okay. We'll go with it. Get a bell. Um. You shouldn't have. Give her that. Get some hearts going. Let's. Let's do yes. that. One. Um. Their least favorite trait is not bad, it just means you're not going to be getting much of anything for it, so... <laughs> ooh! Ooh, look! Look! Yeah. Holy... crap laws That worked. Look! It's a penis. Why didn't that... Why didn't these... work? My penis wasn't good enough. Um... I was trying to think of some way that I could, you know, combine these with those over there, and it just, it wasn't going to work. Damn, I am really close. Woohoo! Ten moves left! Hey, that was actually really nice. Thank you. Still don't think that's the most practical tennis outfit, but what do I know? Gold Chateau outfit. I'll make you a deal. Every time you give a girl a gift that she loves, I'll have one of our interns send you a present to. Something you can use on dates. Ah, I'm such a nice person. Er, fairy. So did you give me something? No, you did not. Um. Well, I got quite a bit of money. So, like these? Is that what you're talking about? Fine gift for a girl who's artistically talented. Are you talented? Artistically? Certainly seems that way. So let's let's go ahead and try that. Aww, how did you know I dabbled in art? Uh, cause the the vibrator told me. This ought to be good. What college degree did I earn? Um, you said mathematics. I don't know. I don't know how many years that is. Congrats! You're wrong. You didn't tell me how long it was! <laughs> you just said it was mathematics! That's the trick question. You're mean. Oh! Six! It says it right here! But when, when I talked to her, all she said was mathematics! You're mean. Fuck these birds, am I right? Alright, this has been an episode. Uh, stay tuned for more of the Valentine's Day Honey Pop Marathon on Maryland Gaming. 
Thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys next time for more Fuck These Birds! Lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely, I have nobody.